The Funny Flower Hour would like to recommend that you listen to this program on a pair of quality headphones. Turning this into this. Thank you for listening, and enjoy the show. Come here, son. It's time we talked about the birds and the bees. Like butt sex, vagina sex, and mouth sex? Well, yes, but sometimes the bees love each other, too. Gross! I know, son. I know. Live from KTHC Studios, it's the Funny Flower Hour. Flowers. He puts the assy into classy. He confuses lesbian with thespian. Please welcome your MC with the pronoun he, Sergeant Sunflower. Oh, you're too kind. Thank you. Funny Flowers, do you know what today's episode is about? It's Funny Flower Pride Season! Whatever letter of the alphabet you are, we just want to make sure you're proud of it. Which letter is hetero? I'm getting turned on just singing the alphabet. So, we have a very special guest today, here to talk about his alternative lifestyle. Please welcome Swingin' Santiago from our local Swingers Club. Hey, how's it going? Thank you for having me here for Pride Season. By now, most of you know about the G's and the B's and the L's, but I wonder how many of you know about something called swinging. You see, my wife and I like to make love, but sometimes we each need something void of that love. And that's where swinging comes in. That means you have some kind of an open relationship. Some of us go to swinger parties and swap partners or spouses. Others have a boyfriend or a girlfriend or a piece of ass on the side. But the important part is that you always maintain a level of trust and honesty with anyone you love. Does your wife work at Pete's Produce? Um, yes, but... Can I get her phone number? I'm sorry, you see, while some swingers in the lifestyle freely swap with acquaintances, others choose to keep their partners anonymous. And that is the arrangement I keep with my lover, Peggy. It is the same lady. That's the checker with the big cans. Woohoo, Peggy looks good. Can you tell her I called? I want that phone number too. I bought so many strawberries this week. Again, while we encourage everyone to try their own alternative lifestyle to see what works for them, my partner and I actually have a rule about this. And all of you are breaking that rule right now. Why don't you try an alternative to being so stingy with your hot wife? I know what letter you are. S for selfish. You're not getting the goddamn phone number, okay? Don't even ask her at the store. I've seen all of your faces. That's gross. Why stop at a face? We'll turn the lights off. This is why we don't make public speeches often. You know, President Kennedy was technically a swinger. What letter is this guy even supposed to be? Hey, the show's still on a budget. I know. What are you gonna do? Santiago the Swinger, everybody. Three cheers for pride. Hip, hip, hooray. Hip, hip, hooray. And now...
now ask a founding father. Founding father, we want to know how you would feel about the ability to terminate a fetus. Huh? Well, uh, in the future, you can take a, a pregnant lady and get rid of the kid, even if it's the size of a hamster. You can do that? That's amazing. Now that's the type of power a god could appreciate. But remember that the life of a child is a dime a dozen, but the ability to pull back an occasional whoopsie daisy, that's outstanding. Good Scott! Thank you for joining us for another edition of Ask a Founding Father. Hey, if we don't play God, who will? And now, a fifth grade field trip to the International Ping Pong Tournament. We are going to be on our best behavior in this multicultural setting. Is that understood? And they're off. There are balls flying everywhere. Sliding balls, spinning balls. Let's take a look at what our lead prospect's balls are doing now. <laughs> we have to go. Back on the bus. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> And tonight's sponsors are... Foreplay. I want so much of you that it's practically five play. And... Love. Don't you know I'm crazy about you? And now a word from our sponsor. When I was first diagnosed with erectile dysfunction, I didn't know what I would do. I just moped around the house feeling sorry for myself. And then I talked to one of my gay male friends. And he said, What? Don't be so silly. Just take it up the ass instead. The male prostate is a very sexual gland. And unfortunately, it often goes unnoticed and unappreciated by the heterosexual community. With straight men these days, it's all wieners this and big old Johnson's that. Some men go their whole lives without ever realizing there's another orgasm waiting for them just around the asshole. Nice. I couldn't believe what I'd been missing out on. Pegging is very underrated. It took a little getting used to, but my wife was very supportive. Now she straps one on and gives me a good pegging twice a week. Sometimes I pretend I'm a turkey. A naughty turkey who deserves to be stuffed. Ooh. Ah. Yeah. Mm. Ooh. Ah. Oh, yeah. Mm. When I started taking it up the ass, my whole life changed. Colors shined a little brighter. I had the energy of a boy again. You know how many women want to punish a man like that? Plenty. I got erectile dysfunction about six years ago, and when my gay friend told me to quit being so silly and just take it up the ass, I remembered, oh yeah, I've got a prostate, not just a willy. Don't be silly was right. Talk to your doctor about taking it up the ass today. Because a tired Johnson is no excuse for a quiet time. Funny flowers, please welcome the Greasy Sporks. I'm having a rough day, but it's sunny inside. Oh, I'm rusty, 
that boss is gonna tear my hide. But sure as sure the sun will rise on the darkest days. I've got a pal who helps to right the wrong within his ways. I hear a pop, scrape and a flop. I hear a squeeze and a syrup drop. He'll help me smile, tell the better end. He's my flapjack buddy, he's my flapjack friend. Funerals and dusty days, working on the line. Happiness is something earned, he gives me what is mine. That whistle call at the end of my shift. Can't compete with the sound of a golden fluffy gift. I hear a plop, scrape and a flop. I hear a squeeze and a syrup drop. He'll help me smile, tell the bitter end. He's my flapjack buddy. He's my flapjack friend. for a guitar pick, huh? One more time for the Greasy Sporks. Very nice stuff, boys. That guy looked just like Sam. Well, I'm afraid that brings our show to a close. You know what, funny flowers? Pride can be a tricky thing, you see, because people with no pride, well, they're always late to work. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Bad employees. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And people with too much pride are usually a bunch of smug assholes, if you ask me. <laughs> Some people are proud of their kids just for attending a middle school. Can you imagine? C- could you think of something more achievable? Anyway. So, I guess the moral of today's story is... Everything in moderation. What? Right? Whether you prefer wee-wees or hoo-hoos, ding-dongs or doo-doos. On your chest. I like to pretend I'm a good person in the bedroom. And I like to choke the innocence out of him. Okay, funny flowers. I'd like to thank you all for joining us for such a special evening. Whether you're here in the studio or you're listening from home, go out and do whatever makes you proud. You funny flowers. Happy Pride season, everybody. And you get a rainbow. And you get a rainbow. 
just the color orange for you. Don't do that. Attention, funny flowers. You know what I'm proud of? What? This show. Not bad. And our website. Click, click. And all those beers. I wish you would. Find us on social media. Watch our cartoons. And just try to hold on to this crazy rocket ship. Do you know what I'm proud of, Sergeant? Those corduroys, probably. Unnecessary and cruel. This isn't the day to be a diva. You could have fooled me. I was going to say these corduroys. Uh...